This is the 2B lesson for 12D, constructing perpendiculars. I'm just going to run through the two techniques that you need and explain what the questions are. You need the previous lesson of perpendicular bisectors. So the first thing we're going to do is construct a perpendicular from a point off the line. Now I'm going to make a completely different example up. Here is my line, A, B. And I'm going to create a point, P. Um, I need a compass, and I've set mine up correctly. First thing you do, which is the only difference to the normal perpendicular, uh, by perpendicular bisector, is starting at P, draw an arc which crosses the line AB. And now these two points here and here, they will be the, the points that you start your normal perpendicular bisector on. So I'm going to run through that quite quickly as well. So point on that. I can move the compass now, but I'm not going to do it again. Arc above, arc below. Similarly on this side, arc above, arc below. If you want to do a full curves, you can. Mine was quite big, so I'd run out of space. Then get a ruler. Then connect up your two crosses and it goes straight through my point P and crosses uh, AB at a right angle, meaning it is a perpendicular. The next example uh, you'll recognize is very similar, but has um, a point that is on the line. So here's my line A, B. Here's my point P. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start at P and draw an arc on each side. Now it has to cross AB at the same distance. So if I were to measure that, I don't need to. That's about five and a half. That's five and a half. Okay, so my compass has allowed me to create two arcs which are the same distance from P. And that's the same as what we did with the other one, really. Now I just do the perpendicular bisector again, because when I do that, it will create a line down the middle, which goes through the middle, and therefore P will be touched. Okay, So set it slightly larger than halfway, curve above, arc below, same again, arc above, arc below, and then join them up. And it goes straight through P again at a right angle. If you're a bit unsure on each of the steps, don't forget you can stop and pause the video, rewind bits, and then match what I'm doing. For the questions in exercise 12D, questions 1, 3, 5, and 6 use example 1, where the point is off the line. For questions five and six, you will need to be able to construct your own triangles, which was 12B. And exercise questions two and uh, four, use the example number two.